Jean Sylvain Bailey, September 15, 1736, November 12, 1793, was a French astronomer, mathematician, Freemason, and political leader of the early part of the French Revolution. He presided over the tennis court oath, served as the mayor of Paris from 1789 to 1791, and was ultimately guillotined during the Reign of Terror. Scientific Career Born in Paris, Bailey was the son of Jacques Bailey, an artist and supervisor of the Louvre, and was the grandson of Nicholas Bailey, also an artist and a court painter. As a child he originally intended to follow in his family tradition and pursue a career in the arts, but he became deeply attracted to science, particularly astronomy, by the influence of Nicolas de la Cale. An excellent student with a particularly retentive memory and inexhaustible patience, he calculated an orbit for the next appearance of Halley's Comet, in 1759 and correctly reduced Lecale's observations of 515 stars. He participated in the construction of an observatory at the Louvre. For such achievements he was elected to the French Academy of Sciences in 1763. Scientific Papers Bailey published his essay on the theory of the satellites of Jupiter in 1766, comma, an expansion of a presentation he had made to the Academy in 1763. It was followed up in 1771 by a noteworthy dissertation on the inequalities of light of the satellites of Jupiter. B. And in 1778, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Bailey also gained a high literary reputation by his eloges of King Charles V of France, Locale, Moliere, Pierre Cornet and Gottfried Leibniz, which were issued in collected form in 1770 and 1790. He was admitted to the Académie Française on February 26, 1784, and to the Académie des Inscriptions in 1785 when Bernard Le Beauvier de Fontenelle's simultaneous membership of all three academies was renewed in him. From then on, Bailey devoted himself to the history of science, publishing A History of Ancient Astronomy c. in 1775, followed by A History of Modern Astronomy, 3 vols, 1782. D. Other works include Discourse on the Origin of the Sciences and the Peoples of Asia, 1777, E. Discourse on Plato's Atlantide, 1779, F. and A. Treatise on Indian and Oriental Astronomy, 1787. G. Though his works were universally admired by contemporaries, later commentators have remarked that their erudition was marred by speculative extravagances. The lunar crater Bailey was named in his honor. During the French Revolution The revolution interrupted his studies. Elected deputy from Paris to the Estates General, May 12, 1789, he was elected inaugural president of the National Assembly, June 17, 1789, and led the famous proceedings in the tennis court, 20th of June, being the first to take the tennis court oath. Shortly after the storming of the Bastille, July 14, 1789, he became the first mayor of Paris under the newly adopted system of the Commune, July 15, 1789 to November 16, 1791. Mayor of Paris when Louis XVI made his momentous visit to the Hotel de Ville to endorse the Revolution, 17th of July, Bailey presented him with a new symbol of the Revolution, the tricolor cockade. Along with the Marquis de Lafayette, he is considered the indisputable hero of the early days of the Revolution. In his function as mayor, he was attacked by Camille Desmoulins and Jean-Paul Mirat as too conservative. He continuously sought to promote the authority of the mayor while limiting the power of the General Assembly of the Commune. 
One of his actions in this position was to secure, with others, and in the face of threats and ridicule, the passage of a decree of September 27, 1791, confirmed by Legislative Assembly on 30th of November of the same year, which declared Jews to be French citizens, with all rights and privileges. This decree repealed the special taxes that had been imposed on the Jews, as well as all the ordinances existing against them. After a failed attempt by the royal family to flee the country, Bailey tried to contain the growing Republican crowds asking for the king to step down. On July 17, 1791, he ordered the dispersal by the National Guard of the Riotous Assembly in the Champ de Mars. Having suddenly become extremely unpopular, he resigned on 12th of November and moved to Nantes where he composed his memoirs Dun Timoin, published in three vols. Bum. Burville and Barreri, 1821-1822, An Incomplete Narrative of the Extraordinary Events of His Public Life. He was replaced as mayor by Jerome Pichon on 16th of November. Execution. In July 1793, Bailey left Nantes to join his friend Pierre Simon Laplace at Milan, but was there recognized and arrested. On 14 October, he was pressed to testify against Marie Antoinette but refused. On 10 November, he was brought before the Revolutionary Tribunal in Paris, speedily tried, and sentenced to death the next day. On 12 November, he was guillotined at the Champs de Mars, a site selected symbolically as the location of his great betrayal of the democratic movement. He was forced to endure the freezing rain and the insults of a howling mob. When a scoffer shouted, Two trembles, Bailey! Do you tremble, Bailey? He stoically responded, We, may cess you laments of Freud. Yes, but it is only the cold. In the words of the 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica, he met his death with patient dignity, having, indeed, disastrously shared the enthusiasms of his age, but taken no share in its crimes.